hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle uh, today at Colville in the Midlands and um, it's uh, been um, a hot day today it has been sunny today um, all, uh, basically all day long um, a bit of cloud has come now anyway um, if you're new here to my channel, hi, my name's Rebecca, and um, if you want to subscribe to my channel, it's the red and white subscription button. Also, click the notification bell so you never ever miss a vlog. And um, also, I upload five times a week on both my travel and lifestyle channel. I absolutely love talking about travel and a lifestyle. Today's video is going to be uh, Travel News UK 5 Amazing Facts June 2021 Part 6. Um, so we've got some great brand new facts. So... Um, Let's jump right into it. Now, uh, number one, COVID-19 aim for double jabbed arrivals to avoid quarantine. Ministers are working to um, on basically plans for quarantine free travel from the ambulance countries for people who are fully vaccinated man at Matt. Anne Cock has said so um, that is really good news um, again because most of the countries are on the amber list and at the moment you do have to quarantine um, for 10 days but hopefully that uh, will change on medium risk countries ju uh, just say that's um, according to BBC News. So moving on to number two, the Times, Malta and Spain, the Balearic Islands may join the UK Green travel list. So that's really good news. I hope they really do um, because the Balearic Islands especially are very popular destinations um, with UK citizens. And number three, Bloomberg.com, uh, UK is Pentine's uh, travel curbs as airlines step up to um, basically detest uh, Boris Johnson's uh, quarantine list on ambulance countries Boris Johnson's government is preparing to allow Britons who have been fully vaccinated to um against the contravirus to travel uh, more to more than 150 countries uh, without needing to quarantine on their return to England uh, later this summer so it'll be really good uh, for the 150 countries that are involved and uh, for UK um, or people in England alone just say. Number four, Financial Times um, unfortunately um, has warned uh, the UK warned overseas travel will not return till no uh, normal before next year Johnson says priority is to keep Britain safe but uh, su suggested relaxation of quarantine rules is um, beginning to be examined so that is one way again good news that relaxation of the quarantine rules is going to be Exa um, examined but um, again the financial time is saying overseas travel um, they don't think that they, uh, he's going to relax overseas travel circumstances 
and um, last but not least the daily record says can you travel to england from scotland new lockdown rules and list of banned areas scots have been banned from traveling to some areas of england due to the rapid spread of the delta variant nicola sturgeon's enforcer rules from this week and um, with non essential travel uh, to um, these two new hotspots um, down south I think it is Cornwall um, or at least one of the areas is is the latest to be added to a list of no-go areas in a bid to stop the spread of the virus so I can understand uh, that with Nicola Sturgeon, especially if those um, areas have been having a raise um, in contravirus cases. I would like to wish everybody, I hope everybody has as nice day as possible and I'll see you tomorrow um, with at uh, five at latest brand new European travel facts um, so I would like to say thank you and I hope you have as best day as possible and um, again remember um, what I've said in other videos um, I wouldn't be book for overseas this year um, just in case they don't relax the rules and it is a sticky situation because they can easily um go back into lockdown unfortunately um so i hope everybody has the best day as possible and um bye for now thank you bye